Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug Lump. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, like apparently when this shirt is like, it says it's oversized, you should believe it. <laughs> so it's a, uh, it's a Saturday here. So I do what I want on the weekends. I'm already in a mood. Sorry, I'm talking like a man to pollen. I think it rained a little bit last night, but not nearly enough. So uh, my eyes are like swollen because pollen but at some point the trees will stop having things and then we can go back to like breathing using our lungs so uh it's early Mr. Mugwump is still sleeping so uh we hate him because I can't anymore because I want to claw my eyes out so I figured we'd get up and do some makeup together because you're my go-to when he doesn't want to that's no that's not right no I love you so I want to hang out with you so I figured we'd use a palette that has been like sitting and sitting and sitting we've had it for a while it's the last of the Bambi palettes this is flower and for some reason she looks beat up in that pan that that last shade is, is doing a number here and I figured we would do like straight on like purple smoky eye I don't know because it's Saturday I do what I want and so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna do a full-on purple smoky eye so I'm gonna start with my eyes because that is smart when you're doing uh, a purple smoky eye and your your name is Leanne because you're gonna get it everywhere and so we're gonna attempt to be smart with this. This is the Ulta Nude eyeshadow primer and I've depotted it into an AOA Studio little container because it was impossible to get out of the tube, like completely impossible to get out of the tube, but in the little pot it's absolutely perfect. You need hardly none of that so it's it's good in the little pot. All right here we go. So we're gonna, we're just gonna go for it. Like, don't worry about it. Should we do like a halo smoky eye? Let's do like a halo smoky eye. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot of fallout with this shade in the pan. Not, I mean, there's some on my face too, but like the pan is very powdery, like super duper powdery. So if I was doing a true halo eye, I would leave the, the middle completely undone, but I decided to do a halo eye after I already started. <laughs> so just don't worry about it. This is, trust the process kids. Trust the process. Okay. Now. I am not kidding. Something in this black is metallic. That's where the magnet is in the palette. And so I think it's like, I, this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. But anyway, we're doing it. This is going to be a very interesting look, just trust. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I'm gonna place and then I'll blend. I can hear you freaking out right now. This looks crazy as heck. You'd be right.
for the Take our time. We haven't been there. I have nowhere to go. Like we haven't gotten our second vaccine yet. That will be next week. So we're we're not going. You know, until probably May is when we will. We want to wait for the second vaccine to uh, do its thing. So we're gonna we're planning on going back to like actually leaving the house in May. I know that sounds crazy, but that's I mean that's what we're doing. So we we we're still staying at the house. We still. We're still acting like it's a pandemic out there, and so we're gonna be responsible and stay at the house. So I ain't doing nothing today outside of these walls, and I'm, I'm gonna try not to go outside again today. I didn't go outside yesterday because the pollen, like it's just, it's so bad when I go outside. Like it is so bad. So I try not to. This is just, this is some powdery stuff, y'all. You like powder, this may be your, your palette. I know, don't don't worry about it. We're gonna we we're gonna be color up to our brows today. Cause it's Saturday and we can do that. <laughs> we ain't gotta go to work today. A blend on the back. Okay. We will go in with the liner. I have a hard time sometimes with shadow getting right to the, the lash line itself. I don't know, it's just a thing. Okay, so there's two shimmers in this palette. I'm gonna use the one that is a gold purple. Then I'm gonna let me clean up and then we'll, we'll do a little bit more blending probably. We gotta blend on that. We gotta blend on that. Hold on. Which one I wanna use? Probably this one. I've got an inner cavern, right? And so sometimes color in there looks intentional and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, now I want this really pretty iridescent. Mm -hmm. And that like fills that, that void right there. Let's blend just a little bit, right? Oh, 
over the edge there. Okay. You know, for a crazy look, this came together pretty quickly. Now granted, I'm sure that those folks who spend eight hours blending, you know, for their makeup channels would do a much better job. But this is the job I done did. What you think? It'll look better with lashes and all that. This is like, I have, this palette is messy boots. I mean, I like it, but good night. Okay, let's, let's get a face on. So, I want to try a product. I've got a couple of things that I want to kind of put together today. I don't know. Something's new. This is new. This is the AOA Studio Clean Slate Primer. I have used up the AOA Studio Clean Slate Eye Primer. It was a painterly paint pot dupe, you know? I've used that up. This is the face primer. And I got this a while ago. I just hadn't just hadn't tried it. It is a lotion. It has a scent. There's a fragrance in it. It's not bad, but here's the scent. And, oh, I hear Tiny. I don't know what she's doing. Um, lightweight and melts right into your skin, leaving it silky smooth while extending makeup wear. Okay, it's a dollar. On shopmissa.com. That's not bad. That, that works quite well. I mean, it, it does melt into your skin. Like, it's not sticky. Uh, but it's nice. I've pulled some more glowing things. You know, as how I do. We're trying it out. And I think today I want to try the number skin. Mm -mm, the number seven skin illuminator. And I don't see a shade on this. So, this might be the only one. This is... Um, a little bit it's champagne hmm. so you can get Tin Man out of it no not really not quite Tin Man status but pretty close it's very I mean it's very luminous but we're not not quite Tin Man but that's okay Actually, we kind of are. Mm, yeah, we're getting there. Okay, so this is a drugstore product. I don't know how much it costs. It, I've had it for a while. This is kind of the, not kind of, it's the stuff that I've pulled from my collection that I'm waiting for my Josie Marin to arrive. So I'm using all these things, seeing which one is most like it. The Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in Opal is so far the right color but all of the products have been glowy and lovely so i'm excited to have all these things because i like i like this look and i've enjoyed it very much i hadn't decided what makeup to wear let's wear the kevin Lacroix. let's wear the foundation balm this is the kevin Lacroix foundation balm in light fb01 and I like this a lot. It's one of my favorites. It's it's expensive, um, but it's good. Oh my god, this doll. It is a pretty good color match for me. Again, this is FB01. It is um, a product that lasts on me all day. And it, you can build this up to full coverage if you want. I usually go for um, a high medium with this. I don't usually double layer um, this foundation at all. Because I think it does a good job on the first pass. And... I, I like it. So I did get my Sephora order placed. There are a couple other things in my cart 
that I added at the last minute. And then I went back and got some other things in a second cart. So the first cart has shipped, which I'm excited about. And we'll do a haul for all the things as we go. Also, my fantastic enabling folks on this channel, Christy, I think, told me that Ulta was having a a good sale. There's a lot of sale stuff at Ulta right now, which makes sense because they're, you know, they're competing with the Sephora sale. And uh, I got a cart of stuff at Ulta as well. And Leanne, who, if you're not following, she's makeup with Leanne. If you, if you aren't following her on Instagram, y'all, she does the most amazing, she does these looks every day, but like way more, way more beautiful and like just executed amazingly. If you want inspiration, she's the, she's the go-to. And she told me that she got the Kat Von D was having a like a sale as well, but um, but her new foundation it's not really Kat Von D, but you know what I'm saying. Her new foundation, the Apple Balm one, um, which I'm hoping is similar to the Kevin Kwan, um, that it was actually there were several colors in stock on the KVD website uh, because they've been out of stock everywhere else. So I did manage to get I think what is my shade on the Kat Von D website for the the Apple Foundation Balm. And then I also picked up a palette for really inexpensive that was in the sale section that I've been eyeing at other places, but it just never went enough on sale. And so I never I never got it, but I got it this time. Thank you, Leanne, you people and your enablings of my makeup issue. It's not an issue because we had a good time. Okay, let's do brows and we'll go back to concealer and all that jazz. Some people do their brows like before they do all of their makeup and I don't know how that works. Like I just I don't know how I would actually be able to do that. So I've never done it. Do you do your brows first or is that just like a weird YouTube Instagram thing because people don't want to come on camera with their brows undone. I don't give a crap. Y'all done see me look homely beyond but I don't have any shame. Also, I think there's like two two kinds of folks in in the beauty makeup world on social media. I think there's the the kind of people who want to be pretty, <laughs> and then there's the kind of people who want to talk about makeup. <laughs> Sometimes those things overlap, right? It's not that you can't be pretty; it's that they it's their desire to look that way, and so there is there is a a seeking of perfection and a lot of editing and things, you know what I mean? Like, and then there's those of us who, and I'm in the second category, that are just, we just love makeup and we love talking about makeup. We love hanging out uh, and trying new makeup and all that jazz. And so, we, it's, you know, it's not really edited. It's not pr produced. That's the right word. Not edited. You can edit whatever you want, but like, Y'all gonna see me make all my mistakes. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, <laughs> so for under eye concealer, I'm gonna use, uh, I think this is on sale at Ulta. This is the Undone. Um, it's It was already very well priced. This is 410 Porcelain Light. This is the one that it has three compartments, sort of. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm really itchy. Y'all know how it is. Yeah, y'all know how it goes. Um, and the three compartments are, it's sheer, medium, and full coverage. And so recently what I've been doing is just going between the medium and the full coverage. Um, and just with the, with my finger, because it is, it's a good combination, these two. This is a, just such an interesting product. Um, and I have really enjoyed it. I, I think it's nice. I think it's a really cool concept. They have um, like lip and cheek similar compacts and uh i think they're it's it's really it's a really neat concept this concealer though i would recommend i think it's like down to eight bucks and that's a good price for any drugstore this is clean makeup uh they're kind of their their uh, philosophy or brand image is very minimalistic and multitasking products and you know a pretty a pretty look but not you know overdone or whatever you know that kind of thing and uh but this product is a, is pretty good i've been using it for uh since i've gotten it and i i do like it i think it looks really really nice and so 
I'm going to continue to use that bad boy. There we go. Okay. Let's do some cream bronzer contour thing. This is the Kiko Milano Sculpting Touch Creamy Stick Contour in 201. Uh, I got it off of Amazon because y'all told me to get it. You were right. This is quite good. And uh, it's, it's not as warm as other ones that I have. And so I do like that. And I mean, I like warm or cool. Um, but it, this, one's, this one's leaning a little bit more neutral. It's not warm. It's not cool. It's about in the middle. So I like this one. Blends pretty quickly. And it's not too pigmented or difficult. It's a good little product. So I'll blend with my little Elf Travel br brush. And then I'll go back over with my damp sponge. Y'all, this spongy hanging on now. This is the one that's got the tear in it. We have not thrown her away. We have we can't we can't let it go. This is the last of the Target sponges. So uh, several years ago, Target had no my husband went to Target to get some things for my stocking one year and he he bought this he bought like this random sponge that was in their like stocking stocking stuffer section. It was a no name brand just in a little container. This sponge, y'all, this sponge is great. And so I was like, where did you, when I started to use it a few, it was like a, maybe a few days after Christmas, I actually used it for the first time. And it was, it, it's just, it's so good. Like it's, it's the most random thing. And he's like, well, I got it at Target. I was like, get in the car. Like we are going to go buy out the rest of these things because they're great. And we could only find two more. So I had three. The next year we looked, they didn't have them. Went down, like we could not, we couldn't get, this is the last of three. Y'all have had this for like, I don't know, waiting to use it. <laughs> so I don't want, he's got a tear in his little bottom. I don't want to throw him away. I love him. All right, let's use, um, yeah, let's use our, our new Winky Lux cream blush and crown. This is uh, from Mr. Mugwump in my Easter basket. Y'all, I'm just, he's good now. He's good. This is such a pretty blush, y'all. I think these are on sale too at Ulta, maybe. Y'all, they, they, the sales are, are out to play now. Like, I ain't kidding. It's a pretty, pretty blush. So pretty. Okay. Let's do... Let's powder some here. I do want to... I want to use the Tatcha Silk Powder because it is stunningly beautiful. And thank you, Kim. And I'm going to itch. And then we're going to take out any creases here. And then press. This is the Morphe M438. I think it's a highlighting brush, but I like it for under eye setting powder because it's a good shape for me. This eye is the worst eye for allergies today. This powder is uh, quite beautiful and glowy. If you want to glow all over your face, amazingly beautifully uh, use it all over I've used it all over a couple of times it's beautiful and I like it but um, I want to I'm almost done with this makeup revolution powder so I'm trying to use her up like we are so close like we are it's I'm scraping the the outside kind of thing here um, and I need to get I need to just try to get it off the sides so that I can be done with her but this is this is how I roll with powders. When I when I when I hit pan on one, I'm like, and we're using you up. So it's hard to get to it. I might crush it and repress it, or just leave it crushed. You know, 
that'll work because there's not much left. Okay. There's that. Okay. Next up, let's use, oh, I pulled, I pulled a bronzer that I think, I think this is the one I have two of. This is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in Ready to Go. And I think that there is another one in the lid is broken and I'm not sure I don't know where that is. It might be at the like the bottom of the drawer that I just can't reach. Y'all, this is pigmented now. And I just got too much, but that's okay. This big old bronzer brush is stunning. This is the Sonia Kashuk bronzing brush. I'm like obsessed with this brush. We're gonna blend, so don't sweat it. Boo. Um. Blush. Blush. This is Anastasia, one of their blush trios. And these, I think, I got TJ Maxx, one of those type of deals, you know, where, and I'm just going to like, I don't care. They're like pinky blushes. Um, But at TJ Maxx, I think they were like, $7.99, $5.99, something like that, like some ridiculously low price. And there it's a it's a really pretty. I got two of them. This one is in pink passion. They're real, I mean they're really, really pretty. And I sometimes I'll concentrate my, my brush into one. And sometimes I don't care. I just it's I just put on the blush. It's really pretty. Okay. <laughs> Highlight up. Let's use our broken AOA Studio Velour Highlighter. And sometimes it's a putty, but kind of not. It, it's a weird, it's a weird one. And, you know, I contemplated doing a lower lash line. Many of you would with a look this strong. And I, you know, I, I know sometimes it's like a, it's a balance of what's on top and what's on bottom. I just, I, today I can't. It's, my allergies are so bad that it wouldn't, it wouldn't last. So I'm going to just, just do the top and that's it. I know that's probably strange. I don't mind how my eyes look with only the top lid done. I, I don't, I don't mind that at all. Uh, there's the, there's that highlighter. Let me do a little bit right here. I love this thing. Like, I can't believe there's so many products from Shop Miss Aided, I can't believe it's a dollar. But this one is, is one of those that it's just, it's so pretty and it works so well. And I can't believe it's a dollar. Okay, let's blend our face because we haven't yet. We, we looking fly today, kids. We looking fly. We got a lot of makeup on, though. Like, this is not a natural makeup look. Trust and believe. That is not what this is. <laughs> okay, let's do um, setting spray real quick. It is off. I mean, it's so, it feels so strange to do my eyes first because I feel like I'm all out of whack. But it's not bad. It's just I have to get kind of find myself in the routine again, you know. Let us line. I'm contemplating what to use for liner here. 
because I got some options. All right, we're going to start with the Laura Geller Line and Define. This is the dual dimension eyeliner. It's got liquid on, or like five felt tip on one side and a cajole on the other. We're just going to use the felt tip and we're going to get a, a line across the lashes. And then, oh, I know, let's use our little stamp. Y'all remember we had this, this weird, it's gross because it's been sitting here and it gets powder all over it. And for some reason, the packaging like attracts it. I don't know. And also, I feel like it's not, we're not blended in one place right here. Okay, it's a bit better. It was something harsh there. I don't know. Okay, so on one side it's an eyeliner, on the other side it's a stamp, but you got to get it off. There we go. It's like it's one of these things, you know? Let's try it today. I don't know. Should I try it today? Because you're like screwing everything up. Or are you? That doesn't look too bad. Okay. Let's connect some stuff real quick. Y'all, that ain't bad at all. Are they even? I don't know. Does it matter? No. It kind of does. Hold on. There. Eyeliner. Done. <laughs> this is C-M-A-A-D-U. I think it's maybe Amazon. I don't know. It might came in a box. I have no idea. I don't know where it came from. I don't know how to get one, but there you go. Let's tot line with. Hmm. Let's find one that we, we hope doesn't actually move. Let's try the Trustique. Lime Sharpen and Smudge Eye Pencil in Santorini Black Sand. I don't know if I'm going to regret tight lining with allergies as bad as they are, but it's not, you know, I don't got to go anywhere, so it's fine. Um, all right, there she is. Okay, let's lay Now I'm telling you, this most definitely is a look that I would wear lashes with, and I might actually try to pop some on. Um, especially so that we see how it looks with some. Now 
gonna grab the Japanese one. This is the Heroin Made Long Lasting Curl Mascara. It's like ultra waterproof. They did a, a, a good job of holding curl. I have Snuffleupagus lashes that do not, I mean, they'll curl for a hot minute, but it's, they fight it all day long. And there are definitely some mascaras that are too heavy that don't work. This one did okay. I'm only going to get like one good coat. We're not going to spend a lot of time on my lashes because you can hardly see them. But I think let's put on, I've got these raggedy old licious. In these are the ones that were like, oh, where'd the other one go? Oh, whew. these were the ones that <laughs> they were the, they came with the adhesive. Like you just stuck them on. Oh, I can see some stuff in my waterline, huh? Mm -mm. You better get her out of here. Okay. Anyway, you stuck it on. And so, um, I wore them the first time with the adhesive, you know, that came, came with it, that it was, you know, attached. And then I added glue on top of it. And then I peeled everything off. I had this super, super thin band. And... Now I can just, I'm just wearing them without that weird adhesive band. And it's like, it's an invisible band because it's, I mean, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. But uh, they're also really, I guess, flimsy, delicate. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, which is my inner corner. That's the hard thing. I think this is my inner corner. Mm, deciding right and left. These, um, this is probably time seven, six, seven, something like that. For and I did it pretty good. For I, I, I mean, I'm just this is who I am. I rewear things. I don't throw things away if they still technically work. And you know that's how I roll. I'm super itchy right up here. I don't know if there's like a fuzzy or if it's what it is. I want to try. I watched some YouTube videos of folks that their procedure for putting on lashes is to paint the stuff on their, not magnetic. Like I know I have magnetic eyeliner and all that, but like actual lash glue, they just put it on like eyeliner and then they just pop the lash on. I don't know that I can do that. So I don't know how we're gonna try that, but I think I want to. These are an Eyelore product. There's a lot of lashes for sale in the Ulta sale site right now. So if you ever wanted to try a pair of lashes, like if you don't wear false lashes and you, you know, don't want to spend a lot of money, there's also uh, nails are on sale, but there's, Try it. Try it right before you take a shower at night. Like, do do a big old colorful eye look. Put on some light trap, but you know, train yourself. It's it. it I'm not great at it, but like with everything in life, it takes practice. I think it looks good. All right, next one. Next. If you if you have lashes, the correct length and you can cut them if you have that and you have them properly placed east to west on your eye you do not feel them at all I know some people are like I don't know how you do that I, it would bother me it doesn't I don't feel it at all like it's not touching anything that like the inner corner of my eye or the outside of my eye these aren't so these are quite long quite dramatic but they don't, like, they don't touch the hood of my eye. They don't bother me. If they did, I wouldn't wear them. <laughs> because I don't want to be, you know, inconvenienced by what I'm wearing. But they they do, they make a statement, don't they? <laughs> These are really dramatic for me. But again, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just hanging out and having a good time. 
Mr. Mugwump's going to wake up. He's going to be like, oh my goodness. What beautiful drag queen took my wife's body? And I'm going to say, yes, sir. Go make me some bacon. <laughs> Mr. Mugwump cooks around here for the most part. And I love him because he's great. All right, here we go. Number two. I learned how to put on lashes by first watching Emily Noel here on YouTube. She's a former news anchor and uh, she now does YouTube full time. But because she's a former news anchor, she's very, very um, clear. Do you know, do you know, like she's very clear about her like what she's instructing you to do or she's describing it in a, in a very clear way, which I appreciate. She did like a, you know, how to lash tutorial, like lashes 101 kind of thing, which there are lots of different techniques, ways that you can put on lashes. You know, a lot of folks do it different ways and you can certainly try until you find the way that you like. My, my theory, or my, the way that I do it is I place it down in the middle and then I press it on the outside and then work on the inside. The, ins the inside for me is the most difficult. I think it is for a lot of people um, because there's not a lot of room to move. But also, uh, you know, I have, I have hooded eyes, so I have to keep my eyebrows, I mean, that's not a lot of room to move. I have to keep my eyebrows raised and, and all that and uh, to get them on and then I'm, I blink up onto them. Again, these are a little bit janky because I've worn them a whole bunch, but I think they look just fine. Here's that. Okay. Let's do some lips in this piece. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I think concealers. Let's do concealer lips. I hadn't done it in a hot minute today. I mean, it's just, it's time. Oh, let's, let's, let's do this. We have to RIP the Sephora, the nudist. It won't, it won't turn up anymore, but I'm, get one more use. I hope. We are scraping it now, kids. Yeah, one more. And now she's totally flat. <laughs> R.I.P. baby. You were good to me. You were good to me. This is the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in 07 Almost Natural. I wipe off everything on the wand. And there's still plenty left. <laughs> Yeah, that's cute. I, I This is one of my favorite things. I, I use so very little of it, but I love that this look for, you know, concealer days, concealer look days. My hair is just wiling out drying over here. All right, so there she is. What do we think? Are we, I, my nose is peeling from the, from the allergies and the, oh, dang. There we go. This is the look. Sorry about that. This is the look. How do we like it? Are you proud of me? Purple, beautiful. I mean, can you get a natural look out of the, the flower palette? Probably not. <laughs> this is not a natural looking 
palette to me. Could I, could I put this in the crease and this on the outer corner? Sure. And lined with that? Sure. Absolutely you could. You, it's not natural though. It's pretty. I think these are on sale at Ulta too. I'm just, I'm, I'm helping you. I'm helping you make decisions. I, that's what I'm calling it. It's a public service. What I'm giving you here. It's not really. Um, I thank you so much for hanging out. Um, especially because we haven't seen Tiny in like days. I know some of you have subscribed just for the dog. Oh, somebody asked about those two things. Those are, um, they're not palettes. They are, they're tiny frames of cross-stitched RuPaul. And it says, Shantae, you stay on one and sashay away on the other. And it's amazing. They were gifts and I love them. So I am, I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go see if I can wake up Mr. Mugwump and make me some breakfast because mama's earned it. Look at this look. Do you love it? I'm gonna wink a little bit. <laughs> I loved it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you liked me, let's hang out, be friends, subscribe. And then all of my videos come into your YouTube subscription feed for free. Thanks for hanging out. I think you look great. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.